What's up, YouTube? Y'all doing good? You good? You good? I'm good. You good? Okay, good. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show y'all how to make a simple uh, oven roasted turkey. Um, now, I want to do an oven roasted turkey last year, um, but it didn't happen, so I made it my business to make sure that I did a uh, roasted turkey video today. Like I said, this is very basic. The only thing I'm going to do different than your traditional just basic turkey is I'm going to brine it, which um, I'll show y'all how to do all that in the next clip. I'll break it down for you. It's really easy. You don't have to do the brining process, but I do recommend uh, doing it. It just adds a, a, a certain, can say qua, you know, a certain, a certain something special to the turkey. So, um, again, just like I said, it's very basic. And uh, I have uh, all the directions because I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget to mention something in the video. But make sure you visit the link in the description. I have the full recipe typed out for y'all. And um, I have a couple of different things that you can change up and uh, just kind of put your own little spin on it. So make sure you click the link if you want to get the, um, the full recipe because, like I said, I have all the... All the specifics that I probably won't mention in the video, they will be in that, um, they'll be at that link in the description box because like I said, I'm pretty sure I'll forget something. So like I said, real simple and easy, real basic, and uh, as time progresses, we'll get into more advanced turkeys and stuff like that. So, um, let's go ahead and let's get right on into this. So the first thing you want to do is in this pot, now you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. You can see I'm adding in some, uh, kosher salt, which that was a really bad idea. I don't know what I was thinking about having it that close to the, um, the camera, that close to the pot. I just added in some kosher salt. Make sure you use kosher salt. And then I'm going to add in a, a large onion and some aromatics. I got some rosemary and some thyme and some uh, crushed garlic cloves. And uh, that obviously wasn't enough rosemary and thyme. I added some more later. And I'm just going to let that um, steam for a little bit so the uh, flavors can infuse into that. But you don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can actually just pour everything into a pot and just make sure your salt dissolves. I did that so the salt would dissolve quicker. And the, um, like I said, the flavors would um, infuse throughout the the uh, brine. Now here's my turkey. Um, this is a 10 pound turkey. Um, as you can see it has a, um, a turkey timer in it. And um, make, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure you rinse it off really well. Make sure it's thawed out. Make sure it's thawed completely. Rinse it off really well and remove any of the, the neck and the giblets and all that stuff from the inside. And if it has a plastic holder on, uh, plastic holder on the inside of the cavity, make sure you remove that too. So here's the rest of the water um, that I have for the brine. And I'm just going to add in the um, the part that I had boiling earlier. Now, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this is completely cooled if you do choose to boil it. You don't want to put your um, turkey into your cold turkey into a warm brine to start it cooking. So just make sure that um, this whole brine mixture is cool before you add in your turkey. And as you can see, I'm adding in some peppercorns right here. I will have everything listed in the recipe below. Um, I have the link to the recipe below because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's something that I might forget. So just check the um, link in the description box. Now I'm gonna add in my turkey, and like I said, this is a 10 pound turkey, so any um anything, if you have a larger turkey than that, you might have to adjust the um, recipe to fit your liking. So you wanna make sure your turkey is completely submerged in the water and add more water if needed. And I'm using a, uh, a bucket. Um, this is our kitchen bucket. This bucket, I know it may resemble a uh, mop bucket, this, but this bucket is specifically used for cooking purposes only. And as you can see, I'm adding in some more water right there. After you submerge it, you want to cover it up really nicely. And if you have like a big stock pot or something like that, you can obviously just place the lid on it. So I'm going to cover this up really well. And then I'm going to place it in the refrigerator um, overnight or for a minimum of 15 hours. So when your turkey gets out of the oven, you might you want to pour off the brine and you want to rinse it off really well. And then you want to pat it completely dry with some paper towels. Make sure it's really, really dry. Now I'm just taking a mixture of some poultry seasoning, seasoned salt, and uh, a little bit of pepper, and I'm seasoning the inside of the cavity. Um, you might want to make sure that the inside is really, really um, seasoned well. Then I'm taking some softened butter, which the butter could have been a lot more softened. So I was struggling with that part, but you just want to rub the butter all over the entire surface of the um, of the bird. Um, do the bottom, make sure you get the legs in between the wings. Just you want to make sure that this whole the whole surface of the turkey is uh, buttered really well. Now I'm just going to take the rest of that seasoning and I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the um, bird, all over the surface, make sure it's really well seasoned. And uh, you can use any type of seasonings that you want, I'm just using that mixture right there. But uh, just uh, adjust anything to your own liking for this recipe. 
Now, now you're gonna pull out your good old roasting pan. So in the bottom of my pan, I have some celery and some onion. And you also can add some carrots if you want to. I forgot to do that. But um, I'm just tucking the uh, wing tips under the uh, chicken, uh, under the turkey, um, because uh, they tend to burn when they stick up like that. So just make sure you tuck those up under. And also, if you wanted to place your turkey in a bag, in one of those oven roasting bags, you could do that. And um, one thing you also want to do is you want to tie your uh, legs. I actually forgot to do that, but I did list it in the recipe. And when you tie the legs together, that just makes for a better even cooking. And uh, off camera, I also did pour some chicken broth in the bottom of that pan. I forgot to add that. So you're going to place that into your preheated 325 degree oven. And I will have a, um, a cooking time um, on the, um, I have a chart with cooking times for depending on the weight of your turkey in, in the uh, written recipe. And every 30 minutes I did go in and I basted it with some of those juices that fell into the bottom of the pan. And right here I'm using my thermometer. Um, my camera really didn't want to focus on it, but when you cook it, it's fully done when it when the um, thickest part of the meat reaches about 165 degrees. So there you go. And that's what it looks like after it comes out of the oven. And uh, it looks it's really delicious, y'all. Um, I hope you give this recipe a try. And I was going for the money shot right here, and of course I lost it. So uh, please make sure you check out the recipe for everything you need to know. All right, y'all, that's it for this recipe. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, one thing I'm really mad about is I forgot, I didn't forget, but I lost my money shot. Now, I was getting ready to cut into the turkey at the end of the video, and uh, I'll probably show y'all a little bit that I did get, but um, I was cutting into the turkey, and right as the slice was about to fall off, my camera ran out of memory. And normally, my camera makes a noise when it does that, um, but it didn't this time. And so, I had thought I was recording for another three or four minutes after that and by that time I had already butchered up the chick the turkey and uh, it was it was too far gone I tried to go back and redo it but it just wouldn't have been the same so I lost my money shot on that so for those of you who were looking forward to that um, that piece of the video I'm sorry it, it's gone I tried to redo it but like I said it was too far gone and uh, I'd already lost my money shot. So um, that's the only thing I'm mad about with this video. So um, like I said earlier, please, please, please make sure that you check the description box and click on the link to the recipe. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I, there may have been a chance that I forgot to mention something I forgot to mention in the video. Um, I'll have everything in the recipe listed all nice and neat, uh, carefully planned out and you know, all that kind of stuff. So please make sure you check out the recipe if you want to try this out. Like I said, it's very simple um, and as time progresses, we're getting to more advanced turkeys and stuff like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified hit the subscribe button and click on the note click on the bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a new video please make sure you click that bell so you'll be notified so when i post a new video you'll know about it so uh, thank you to all my subscribers so far we're creeping up on 3,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate that. So um, y'all continue to subscribe and like and comment and all that stuff. And uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching.